The word Google comes with fairly negative associations in the academic world. Most university students are told to avoid it in favor of the more credible sources found in the campus library collections. But we should acknowledge that many people find Google Scholar to be a comfortable and familiar resource to use in finding academic information. And whatever method or resource you use to find your information is much less important than the quality of that information and how you use it in your work. So what should a student know about Google Scholar? What things are important to consider and what features make it useful? Here are some main things you should be aware of when using Google Scholar. First, Google Scholar does not contain any full texts of sources. Just like any search engine, including the more general Google Search, Google Scholar only identifies relevant sources that exist elsewhere. It then provides a link to the content wherever it finds it on the web. Fortunately, many academic articles, particularly ones that are a bit older, have been made available online for anyone to see. For example, this search for boredom psychology found a book chapter from 1951 that can be viewed in PDF format. Scrolling down, you see there are quite a few other articles that have been made available in various places on the internet. Now you might ask, what about the ones without links? Well, that's what we'll talk about next. Many of the sources you find through Google Scholar will be behind a paywall, restricting access to those with a paid subscription. You may find yourself in this situation anytime you click on a source in your results list only to find that you need to pay to see it. Here's an example from the journal Psychological Record. The database where this article is found is restricted to those with a subscription. We can see a single page sample, but not the entire article. There are other examples in our results here too. Some even ask you to pay for individual access. The good news is that the library has subscriptions to a huge collection of academic journals, so you can often access the article through us. You'll need to let Google know that you are a UWinnipeg student. Do this by clicking in the Sandwich menu, then selecting Library Links and searching for UWinnipeg. Then check the box next to UWinnipeg Get Access. Now, those results will have a link to get access through the UWinnipeg databases. If you still don't have access or you don't see a Get Access link, you may need to search for the item using the library search tools or contact us for help. Another thing to consider is that because terms like scholarly and academic are somewhat subjective, a source you find using Google Scholar may or may not match your professor's definition of credible and scholarly. The book chapter that we found to start would not qualify as academic if the professor wanted only peer-reviewed journal articles. You may also find articles from professional societies, book reviews, and other items that are not generally considered scholarly. As with all research, never take for granted that a source is good because of where you found it. Even things you find in the library databases may not be scholarly, so you'll need to use your critical thinking skills to decide whether or not something will be good for your work. If you're ever unsure about a source, you should talk to your professor about it. Now, there are two great features of Google Scholar that I'd like to highlight for you. First, each result will give you a link to all the sources that have cited that item. I can click Cited by 225 to see the 225 articles, books, and other items that cited this book chapter. From here, you can adjust the date ranges to see current articles, and you can even search for words within these results. Many researchers find this type of searching to be very useful in identifying sources that have used a particularly good or core article related to their topic. Finally, if you use the sandwich menu again, you can click Metrics to see how Google Scholar ranks the impact or popularity of academic journals. Here is a ranking of all journals, but you can also search your subject area to see what journals are most popular. I won't go into detail about how these rankings are determined, but this is a very useful method for seeing what journals might have well-respected articles in your field of study. If you have any questions about Google Scholar or any topic related to the library research and services available through us, please get in touch with us and we'll be more than willing to help.